chapter 29. In the tenth year, in the tenth month, on the twelfth day, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Speak to him and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am against you, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, you great monster lying among your streams. You say, The Nile is mine. I made it for myself, but I will put hooks in your jaws and make the fish of your streams stick to your scales. I will pull you out from among your streams with all the fish sticking to your scales. I will leave you in the desert, you and all the fish of your streams. You will fall on the open field and not be gathered or picked up. I will give you as food to the beasts of the earth and the birds of the air. Then all who live in Egypt will know that I am the Lord. You have been a staff of reed for the house of Israel. When they grasped you with their hands, you splintered and you tore open their shoulders. When they leaned on you, you broke and their backs were wrenched. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I will bring a sword against you and kill your men and their animals. Egypt will become a desolate wasteland. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Because you said, The Nile is mine, I made it. Therefore I am against you and against your streams. And I will make the land of Egypt a ruin and a desolate waste from Migdal to Aswan as far as the border of Cush. No foot of man or animal will pass through it. No one will live there for forty years. I will make the land of Egypt desolate among devastated lands, and her cities will lie desolate forty years among ruined cities, and I will disperse the Egyptians among the nations and scatter them through the countries. Yet this is what the Sovereign Lord says. At the end of forty years, I will gather the Egyptians from the nations where they were scattered. I will bring them back from captivity and return them to Upper Egypt, the land of their ancestry. There they will be a lowly kingdom. It will be the lowliest of kingdoms and will never again exalt itself above the other nations. I will make it so weak that it will never again rule over the nations. Egypt will no longer be a source of confidence for the people of Israel, but will be a reminder of their sin in turning to her for help. Then they will know that I am the Sovereign Lord. In the twenty-seventh year, in the first month on the first day, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, drove his army in a hard campaign against Tyre. Every head was rubbed bare, and every shoulder made raw. Yet he and his army got no reward from the campaign he led against Tyre. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am going to give Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he will carry off its wealth. He will loot and plunder the land as pay for his army. I have given him Egypt as a reward for his efforts because he and his army did it for me, declares the Sovereign Lord. On that day, I will make a horn grow for the house of Israel, and I will open your mouth among them. Then they will know that I am the Lord.